What's up everyone, Sockers101 here, and today we are going to be grabbing the first battle with the, if I'm not mistaken, the, are you? No, the NU team, obviously the NU team. Uh, this is the team that Gargoflop and I built, which is really disappointing. Um, um, this is, uh, this is the actual team we are going to be playing with. Uh, as I said, it's Hazard Stock, very, fairly offensive. It does have a Seismito on a Spadef. Uh, with coverage clay doll. It's an alright team. I don't think I lost last with it an awful lot. And we're d we're doing the um um suspect test rank because it's the only thing available right now and um that's what we're doing. It's how we're rolling today. Um I once more I didn't fix my hair because I couldn't be bothered because I just had to shower and blah blah. Just just gotta deal with this haircut. I don't I don't I don't even care. Um so, still Showdown stops being laggy. Oh, he has the Kingler, which is very interesting and could work very well on the um, Sticky Web team. But what we are going to be doing is not mm, not have any of that and lead with Garbodor instead of our own hazards. Actually, uh, I do think that this thing can be a problem, but we do have Claydol, and even if it gets up toxic spikes, that's all right because we still have Claydol, and Claydol isn't affected by it at all. We have Garbodor to absorb those as well, so it's not the biggest problem in the world. Um, he leads with Carbink. I'm actually very tempted to just go toxic right here. Um, I'm just gonna go toxic because he may well want to set up screens and I cannot miss toxic as you might know. Maybe he's gonna leg it into Ariados anyway, but I just want to set up some hazards as he does not have any way of getting rid of hazards. Uh, he's gonna set up the reflect. That's alright. As I said, I'm just gonna set up my hazards and uh, we're gonna do great from there because as soon as these hazards hit the ground, they are there to stay. Um, yeah, nothing on his team learns Defog or Rapid Spin, so that's good. And I do have my Rapid Spinner in the form of Claydol. So everything's looking fine already. We're only turn two right now. Um, having up uh, the Toxic on the Carbink, putting a timer on that is always great because Carbink is a wall. It, it doesn't do anything. It, it cannot deal that much damage to anything, really. But it's a pain in the bum. And um, uh, I don't particularly like that. So here we go. Uh, he has both his layers up. I don't think he can do an awful lot. Maybe he'll explode, but maybe he'll switch. So on the maybe switch, I'm going to try and hit it with a toxic because there's a good chance that he might go for substitute afterwards and just be like bulk up with uh, with this thing, with the go-goat. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I don't lose anything if he s ends up staying in, and I don't get up another layer of spikes. Uh, but if I do actually catch something with a toxic, that's going to be great. But that doesn't happen. Um, I mean, he's going to go in Aerados. I mean, you only have physical moves, contact moves. Garbodor is not too fussed because I do have Rocky Helmet, and if you end up killing me, I do have Aftermath as well. Um, not too bothered by anything you want to throw at me, really. Maybe it's nice to keep around to just kill this thing. But I'm just gonna click gunk shot because his uh his what's it called? Reflect actually wore off. So that's pretty amazing. And uh, we can start hitting it. I actually recorded a session with Gargle Flop but my computer was very laggy. I restarted it and now everything's fine, so I have no idea why it did that. Ooh, he's gonna go home class right now. Um uh, that's actually a bit threatening, but looking at his his damage, looking at his health, if I hit the next gunk shot, he is definitely going to be killing himself. Um, so that's great. And then I still have Seispito to take on Ariados, but it doesn't want to take a plus one Megahorn, because I think I think Ariados is actually quite quite strong. But he's going to go home claws again. In my opinion, that's getting a bit greedy. Um, would this do 6% though? No, I'm just going to go for another gunk shot, because maybe if, if we can land it, he's only going to hit me up with one Megahorn. And that's definitely not going to kill me. At least I, I do hope that doesn't kill me, because I would be very disappointed in Garbodor's being. He's going to go Megahorn, that doesn't even do half. I mean, come on, there he does. Try, try a little bit harder, okay, next time. You can, you can do it. Um... I can spin on... not on Dustmoy. Oh, he has a spin blocker, that's nice. Um, but I do have 
things that are not affected by it, like my Mesprit, like my Scyther, like Clay, like Claydol. Um, so a lot of things are not affected by it. I do think I should outspeed this. I definitely do outspeed that, and I can get a Toxic off on this on his Dustnor. Unless he's like Choice Carbon, and he's gonna do zero damage to me anyway. Um, so I definitely get have a Toxic on this thing because since it's Poison type. Uh, it's going to hit Toxic every single time, at least that's what Robotnik has told me. That's alright. An Infestation is actually a contact move, I didn't even know that, but apparently I'm getting chip damage, but he's getting... He's getting damage as well, and, and now I can just free, freely click Gunk Shot, because, yeah, you, you cannot kill me. You can go, like, Pain Split, but if that's gonna... It's, if, if that's Odyssey, if yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? So, um... This game is looking really solid, and I do think Showdown is actually really, um, boring right now, as of right now. Apparently I'm recording for six minutes already, not sure how th that works. Um, but... So he tagged me up with a well OS, but it's, it's a bit unfortunate. Maybe he is going to switch out right now? Um... I mean, I'm not going to do a lot to him anyway, I'm going to do like 10%. So maybe he's gonna sneak me. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's gonna switch. So that's why I click toxic. Click toxic. Maybe he's gonna switch. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even matter because the toxic is is poison should kill him right now. Uh, oh, it it actually doesn't. Mm, it's fairly unfortunate, but I can go into clay all right now, and then afterwards just rapid spin. Uh, no, I should actually go in out into something that will uh, kill this thing, which isn't great, which is not great. Uh, I do have Seismitoad for Kingler. Uh, I kind of have to lug it into Hariyama and go for a bullet punch. Because otherwise he's going to pain split and we're going to be in a lot of pain, um, which, which we're going to share together as one happy family. I'm uh, just gonna go BP and uh, take this thing out. Really had hope I uh, maybe I should have gone for a gunk shot because then I could have freely spun with uh, Clay at all right now, and then this would have been kind of over. Uh, as soon as I get up my rocks, it's it's definitely over. But I don't have up my rocks yet, so we're not celebrating. Uh, but if you s if soon as he goes to Kingler, which is basically like his only switch right now, um, we are we are in a very good position. And, uh, and then I can just go in, out into Seismito and get up my rocks, and I'm looking very good. Maybe I don't even have to get rid of these, because then Scarf Scyther uh, with is probably going to sweep. Uh, he goes in a Carbink, which is a very odd play. Um, as you have seen, I do have Bullet Punch, but this is... I could do that. Or I could use his Scarbink misplay to just get rid of hazards. Maybe even get more of my own. But basically what I have to decide right now if it's more important for me to get rid of these hazards or to uh, extend my hazards. But what's going to happen is, uh, yeah, he goes for Toxic. That's alright. I mean, I, have, I still have Earth Power to hit you with for super effective damage. But what I can do now is just go for Rapid Spin. I do have Ice Beam to hit the Go-Go. But I, d I don't need. I still have Scyther to to deal with Go Go as well. But there goes there go his hazards. That's all right. And um, this is the point where I go Earth Power, and then I just keep keep clicking Rapid Spin until everything is gone. Because that's kind of how it works. Uh, I think I click Earth Power, Rapid Spin, and Earth Power again, and then everything is going to be dead. Um, yeah, he's... Oh, he doesn't even set up his Stealth Rocks right now. Uh, that's even better, because then I can just straight up kill it with an Earth Power. Uh, maybe he's actually going to set up with the Go-Go. But, I don't care. Um, I'm not too afraid of Go-Go, in general. Maybe if it's sub bulk up, I might be in a prob I might be in a bad spot. But then I'm just I'm just gonna hard switch into Scyther as soon as he goes in out into that, and then I'm just gonna U-turn out because uh, then he's forced to attack me. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. 
Um, I'm not sure if I'd U-turn or if I should just go for the Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace being my best play since it hits the rest of his team for neutral damage, otherwise he gives us free switch into heat more. Hmm. He's not in a good situation, but he's going out into Kingler. That's alright, because now I can go into Seismitoad, and Seismitoad resists your only stop moves. Uh, it doesn't resist it, it just absorbs it. It doesn't get hit by it, because water absorb. Uh, as you can see, this team is um, is able to take on a lot, a variety of threats, uh, even though his team wasn't that threatening to begin with, because we are not that high up to NU Suspect Ladder right now. Uh, I build a janky team with Gargle Flat. Well, mm, janky team, uh, we tried some things out, but it wasn't great. Uh, Kingler, yeah, threat, but actually kind of is. Uh, I'm just gonna go Stealth Rocks right here. I'm not sure if I went for. S oh, I do have Sidekick on Mesprit, which is going to hit uh, Kingler a lot harder since it has amazing bulk, but doesn't have great special defense. So we're going good. We're 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 being decent over over here, and um, I do think this is a wrap, but it's already l 11 minutes long. I'm um, sorry, I just found some chocolate. <laughs> uh, yeah, knockoff is, is gonna hurt. I understand that, but I'm just gonna go up these these hazards, and we're gonna be good because you cannot knock me out with the next one, and I'm just gonna go. Scald. I don't have any reason not to scald right here. Uh, so this hazard stack is working out. He doesn't have anything to get rid of hazards, so that's why I kind of let off a Garbodor. And uh, this is this is basically where we uh, where we wrap it up very soon. He goes for Crab Hammer, which is his worst play. Um, I yeah, maybe I just straight up should upload this because this opponent does not know what he's doing. He straight up doesn't. Um, However, uh, I, I, f I I recorded something already, which was which was over an hour long, and it completely failed. So I I cannot be bothered to record it over and over again. Hope you can understand that. I'm pretty sure you will. Uh, here I go for the scald again. I mean, if he switches, that's great. If he doesn't, that's fine too. If once more, if he goes out into go go, I just have to hard switch out into my scyther, and from there I just like it really oh, okay so now scyther is my best play i i mean it, it's straight up as and then i can just you turn out or if, if he goes into the go go then i aerial ace and if he goes into heat more i just you turn out into my hariyama which hasn't oh which actually has touched the field the only thing that hasn't been on the field yet is mess prep so here we go I do think it's extra showdown lag, but I'm not very sure. But he goes into Go Go, which is probably his better play. Uh, I'm just gonna click Aerial Ace and make this a wrap. I mean, he cannot switch in Heat more right now. He doesn't have switch ins for Scyther anymore. And um, I do think we end this right here. So this this is the team. This is exactly how the team should work. You stack hazards and then you kill things with offensive pressure. And we basically have switches for everything as well, being Garbodor, being Seismito, uh, Claydol, uh, Thickfoot Hariyama, because that's the only thing that this team kind of struggles with. Uh, w should struggle with with these walls, They're like very offensive fire types with nice coverage, and then Hariyama just comes in there and just just fucks their faces off really. Um, this thing can definitely not outspeed me, even if he's Choice Scarf, because I'm obviously packing the Choice Scarf myself. And Scyther is naturally faster, so I do think uh, Aerial Ace should be enough to kill him, and then this is going to be a wrap, 4-0. Uh, really disappointing match on my opponent's part. Uh, as we can see, he wasn't uh, he wasn't all that high, maybe I should check him out. I'm not that high either, but since this is the suspect test, so I have to start laddering again. But he is currently 0-1-1, so this was his very first game, and he's not very uh, talented in the OU meta game. He, he only plays a lot of random battles. Don't never understood that concept of random battles. Uh, you can actually not see how many games he has played, but he is 0-1-1 in NU suspect and 1-2 in NU, so it's it's not great. He's a casual player. It's 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 all right. But this is this is going to be the end of the video. This is basically how the team should work. If you see any flaws, if if you still see any flaws in this team, let me know. Um, hit me up in the comments. If you struggle with um, 
with building a team. Let me know if it's if it's the annual. It doesn't even matter what tier it is. Don't ask me things about VGC because I'm I don't know a lot about VGC. Another thing is, if you want me to build around a certain thing, leave that in the comments as well. If if you're, uh, I received quite some comments about the um, uh, Magnezo and Mega Deonsi core, which I did build a team around. It's it's alright. It's still in its early stages, uh, but I'm, I just think I'm just gonna throw it out there like that, and then just build from feedback from everyone. I actually hit 40 subscribers today, which I want to thank you for. It's it's amazing. I'm going to do like a 50 subscriber special, you know, hopefully very soon. Uh, we're, we're we'll see where we go from that, and uh, I will just uh, I don't know what what you want to do with that. I I really don't, but we're gonna see. Uh, we're we're gonna see where everything takes us. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I uh, I will see you guys in the next battle with this team. Peace.